Ah, uh, Connor. Let me guess, it was the mustache. Yeah, it was the mustache. It's so fucking dumb. It's so fucking it's dumb. So fucking dumb. Hey, Jack, I found that cleaner you said, but I can't seem to find it live. Hey, Harvey. What are you doing here? Ah, nothing, Vinny. I'm just, you know, visiting old Jack as you do. What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 same as you, just visiting an old Jack here. Guys, the corpse is right there. You oh, don't yeah. have to dance around oh, it, yeah. I ask you both here because you both owe me a favor. And I need all hands on deck for this. So here's how this is gonna go. I'm gonna roll the de recently deceased Connor up in a rug. I'm gonna bring him downstairs. I'm gonna bring him in my car. I'm gonna bring him to the quarry. I'm gonna dissolve him at the quarry. And then I'm gonna fucking dump him in the water, okay? No one's gonna find him. That's not the problem. So here's what I need you to do. Harvey, I need you to be in charge of erasing every shred of his existence from any record out there. I need his birth certificate revoked. I need his job quit. I need his parents' memories erased. Here's every document of his. It's unsettling that you're so nonchalant about this process. Where'd you even get all this That's not important. Vinny, you're gonna be in charge of getting all of the blood and gut and stuff out of my carpet. Because right now it's looking real suspicious and it smells horrible. So that's your job. Are you sure me and Harvey can't switch places? Or that you won't need any help with the dumping or the dissolving? No, Vinny, I know it's a messy job, but we need all of this to be done by tonight. Okay? And that, the only way to do that is to divide and conquer, alright? I hope the ice is cold, Jack. And say hi to Virgil for us. Hey, what did I say earlier? Quit it with the Dante references. I don't get it. Well, in Dante's Inferno, when people who murder their guests go to hell, they get encased in ice. And Virgil's the guy that walks you through the ring. I said enough! Let's get to it, shall we? You sure you don't want to trade jobs with me, Harvey? No, Vinny, and the more you do it, the less I'm persuaded to agree. <sighs> That's fair, I guess. I doubt this job looks preferable to sitting in that chair. Yeah, but hey. At least you don't have the least preferable role in this whole shebang. Who has that? Oh, yeah. Wouldn't want to be Connor right about now. <laughs> yeah. You know, something funny is I thought Jack would have murdered you if he was going to murder anyone. Why me? On a completely different note, what got you into this? Um, well, same as you. Jack did me a favor, and I owed him one, so he pulled that card when he killed Connor. That's why I'm here. Well, yeah, same I know you. that, but what favor did he do you that is comparable to cleaning up the bloody remains of a mutual friend. Oh, that. Uh, why do you need to know? Curiosity. Well, what did he do for you? I don't want to disclose that information. Then why should I? Because I asked politely. And I didn't? Well, you kind of have this uh, tone in your voice. That... Okay, now you're sounding like my mom. I came here to clean blood and guts out of a carpet, not to get lectured on my attitude. Oh, shut up. No, you shut up. No, you. No, you. No, you. No you, bitch! No you, motherfucker! Whoa, 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 guys! Why is it so heated in here? Who died? <laughs> By the way, it's me, Jack. I feel the need to explain that because costume changes aren't exactly common in these videos. Nothing, Jack. Just a polite disagreement between two gentlemen. Neither of us want to tell the other about what you did for us that got us into this situation. Oh, that's an easily solvable dispute. Harvey got me to call a bomb threat on his school because he forgot to study for a test the night before, and... Vinny, I paid for your dinner once. Jack, what the fuck? Wow. A bomb threat on a school? Who are you, Ted Kaczynski? Technically it was Harvey's high school, and the Unabomber mostly did uh, post-secondary I forgot to study, Vinny. And besides, that's not the weirdest thing that Jack just said. You consider paying for dinner comparable to cleaning up a murder and becoming an accomplice to one by association? It was a beef Wellington. That is not an excuse, honey. A beef Wellington! Yeah, an expensive one, too. Like, Ritz-level expensive. But those crackers aren't very expensive. That's not a very good example, Jack. You should say it was Boston pizza-level expensive. You know, the more words that come out of your mouth, the more disappointed I am in myself for associating with you. Cut. Hey, Harvey, could you, uh, turn the camera yeah, towards sure. me? Yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm the director of this skit. And I'm talking to you right now because I couldn't think of an ending up for it. So, it's crowd participation time. Everybody close your eyes. Now, imagine the funniest ending you can think of for that situation. 
<laughs> I'm hilarious. I'm a great writer, am I not? Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice night, and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Isn't asking them to like and subscribe a bit desperate and cliche? Oh, shut up, Jack. I need to get them to do it somehow. Well, I think it's a bit lame. Well, I think you're a bit lame. <sighs> if you insult me anymore, I'll up my kill count. I'm not scared of you. I wrote you, Jack. No, you won't. And, just for that, I'm gonna write that Satan grows a fourth head, and so he can chew you with it when you die. I said no more Dante's Inferno references. Oh, bite me, you wanna be Matt Dillon. I will write you out of existence. You wouldn't. Oh, yeah? Ah! Whoa. Where the fuck am I? I'm here. Yeah. Oh, god damn it! Holy oh, shit! Don't doubt me, you piece of shit. Hey guys, it's me, Connor. Since Jack ceased to exist, I'm alive again. Because he never got the chance to kill me. How's it going? Oh, oh shut, shut up, up Connor. Connor.